The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the added value of the Sov Labs ServiceNow CMDB module if you're already using or considering VMware's vRealize Automation plugin for ITSM. vRealize Automation and ServiceNow have seen wide adoption with organizations looking to combine the best-of-breed hybrid cloud solution with a market-leading ITSM solution. In a previous video, we showed you how you can add and remove configuration items, or CIs, to your ServiceNow CMDB using the Sob Lab ServiceNow plugin for vRealize Automation. In this video, we're going to show you another way you can combine vRealize Automation and ServiceNow for your enterprise. For customers who wish to utilize ServiceNow instead of vRealize Automation as the portal for their service catalog, VMware has produced a community-supported plugin that allows customers to do just that. The plugin requires a mid-server to facilitate communication between vRealize Automation and ServiceNow and uses several batch processes on scheduled intervals to synchronize data between vRealize Automation and ServiceNow. It also requires an ADFS instance to handle single sign-on between ServiceNow and vRealize Automation. The Sov Labs ServiceNow module for vRealize Automation can take the data used to provision catalog items and fully automate its population into the CMDB without any custom coding and regardless of CMDB schema customization. We are going to show you how these plugins can work together. We start by logging into the ServiceNow instance. As you can see, the usual logon screen is replaced by an ADFS single sign-on screen. This is from the single sign-on requirement to an ADFS instance mentioned previously. Next, we'll go to our vRealize Automation Catalog. While the Sov Labs CMDB module supports multiple infrastructure types, currently only vSphere VMs are supported by the VMware ITSM plugin. You'll see that we have a number of items available. We're going to select a CentOS 7 template from the list. These items are created initially in vRealize Automation and imported into ServiceNow using the ITSM plugin's batch job. We are presented with a service request that is pre-populated with options that we'll want as part of our server, such as 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, and one CPU. We'll go ahead and start the process by clicking Order Now. The request has been submitted. If we click on the request that was automatically created, we'll see that it's waiting for approval in ServiceNow before it can be provisioned. For the purpose of the demonstration, let's approve the request as a change approver. We'll change the approval field to Approved and save our changes we can now see that the change is approved. Within about a minute, a request will begin in vRealize Automation to build a CentOS 7 virtual server. We can see the item has started to provision inside of vRealize Automation. When the server finishes provisioning, we can head back over to ServiceNow and see that the VMware Instance CI and the Linux Server CI have been created by the Sov Lab CMDB module. If you look at the Linux Server CIs, you'll notice a corresponding CI for the same VMware Instance CI. The VMware ITSM plugin currently supports a single global CI class mapping for vSphere VMs. This is where the Sov Labs plugin extends the base functionality, allowing for multiple mappings that can be configured down to the individual blueprint level, driving multiple CIs and their relationships with relevant and configurable vRealize Automation metadata. Next, we will wait for the VMware ITSM plugin to update the virtual machine instance for day two operations. This may take several minutes to hours based on the configured batch interval within VMware's ITSM plugin configuration. As we discussed in our related video, the Sov Lab ServiceNow plugin for vRealize Automation gives you greater flexibility and granularity on the data you can programmatically add to a CI entry in the CMDB. You can use import sets or define your own direct to table schema. You also have access to all the vRealize Automation properties for your VM as values in your CIs. The Sov Labs plugin can be used independently to drive provisioning, deprovisioning, and reconfiguration tasks of the machine lifecycle for multiple vRealize Automation supported machine types, such as AWS and vSphere. If you choose to use the VMware ITSM plugin for a ServiceNow front end for vRealize Automation, you can use the Sov Labs CMDB module to expand the information in your CIs. If you're also running ServiceNow Discovery, when the server we've provisioned is discovered, you'll see that other information is automatically entered into the CI, such as OS version, CPU type, CPU version, and other OS and hardware-related values picked up by Discovery. ServiceNow Discovery can supplement additional hardware-based information, such as CPU speed and manufacturer, or OS-level information that may change over the lifecycle of the VM, such as patch levels in the OS and details on the running kernel. Let's recap the features of this integration. 
The VMware ITSM plugin allows you to use ServiceNow as the service catalog. You can import vRealize automation services, specifically categories of catalog items. Replication of vSphere-based vRealize automation service catalog items for request within ServiceNow. Replication of day two actions for vSphere-based deployments and items provisioned within vRealize automation for request within ServiceNow. Approvals via provided ServiceNow-based workflows. Replication of provisioned vSphere-based items into ServiceNow CMDB limited to a single global mapping. The Solve Labs ServiceNow plugin for vRealize automation can be used independently or in conjunction with the VMware ITSM plugin. The Solve Labs ServiceNow plugin for vRealize automation allows flexible mapping via JSON based templates, which can utilize dynamic or static values and vRealize automation metadata, for example, the use of vRealize automation custom properties. Multiple operations are permitted, such as insert, update, or delete on multiple related or independent tables using the direct to table method. Values intended for use in ServiceNow CIs can be set at various levels in your vRealize automation environment, at reservation and compute resource levels for more global properties down to the blueprint level or even user-selected values for very specific ones. We provide the ability to address varying complexity of ServiceNow CMDB designs or customizations. Customers can get started with the included templates for a vanilla ServiceNow environment or utilize the import set for advanced ServiceNow-driven customization. Multiple ServiceNow endpoints and configurations can exist in parallel, allowing for isolated testing and promotion without disruption. The SovLab ServiceNow module for vRealize automation is compatible with the VMware ITSM plugin and is also compatible with ServiceNow Discovery. Any vRealize automation infrastructure as a service type is supported, for example, vSphere or AWS. We include basic templates for Linux and Windows VMs so you can get started with minimal ServiceNow expertise. The versions of these are tailored to be compatible with various vRealize automation and ServiceNow versions. Instantaneous CMDB inserts and updates occur during time of provisioning and deprovisioning. Direct to table or import set methods can be used to drive CI record updates and or deletions when a VM is deprovisioned. We support multi-tenant designs. We can perform update or removal from any number of related tables based on configuration. We support multiple versions of both ServiceNow and vRealize automation. Installation or upgrading is a simple two-step process. With the Sob Labs CMDB module, you can be assured that your CMDB is kept up to date automatically with relevant and accurate data and can be flexibly maintained without custom code as your organization grows and requirements change over time. For more information on this and all of our other vRealize automation modules, please visit soblabs.com.